Peace, peace, love, prosperity, abundance, self-love, self-care, wisdom, knowledge, patient understanding, understanding, western understanding, all the cause <laughs> four corners of the understanding. Family, what I'm about to share with you, I honestly don't know how to caption this video, but I'll figure it out. I know what I'm about to say, a lot of you ain't going to agree with me, and that's okay. That's okay, because when I, I, I got this knowledge, I didn't want to believe in either, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I believe it. Or let me say, I know it. Y'all know I did a past life regression. Uh, I had my Akashi record read, and my great-grandmother said something to me when I, did my, um, when my, when I got my Akashi record read. Something was said to me about my son, and it was my great-grandmother, whom I never met. It was said that my son chose me, and I chose him. Now, when I was going through my awakening somewhere like 2017, 18, 19, and I was, you know, I'm, I, 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 God knows everything. Everything that's happening, God already knows. God knows you before God made you. All of this is going through my head. And I'm like, so my son chose me and I chose him. And uh, all the men in the world, he couldn't pick nobody, but he chose his daddy. And I, we both agreed to, you know, birth him here. Why he couldn't pick a better dad? Like, this was the hurt me. I wasn't going, I wasn't doing enough healing. I was still hurt with everything I was going through with my ex that time. So, you know, I'm thinking about all of this, like out of everybody in the world, you chose this nigga, you chose this, let me say ninja, you know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't pick any other person. And, and I'm talking to myself like, why would I even agree to this? I was just going through it. And then when I did my Akashi record, my great grandmother said, your son chose you, he chose his father, and both of you agree that y'all gonna be his parent at a certain age. And when you reach that age, when you got to that age, you brought, the, you brought this, this soul, this spirit here. You birthed that spirit, which is your son. Ever since then, I've always, before that, I always look at my son, you know, like, I mean, this boy is like a little version of me. But when my great-grandmother opened that knowledge up, I was, I look at my, sometimes he says stuff and I'm like, wow, this boy is, is, is he's very intelligent. He's like me. He don't like school. He, sometimes he says stuff and you give him homework, he says stuff and in my head I'm like, yeah, that's my son. I know, like, I'll be, I'll be like, you know, he'll be like, Mom, it don't even make sense why they want me to do this. I'm like, well, just do it. But in my head, I'm like, you're right, it don't make sense. <laughs> so somewhere last month, I asked my son to do something, right? And he said, Mom, you should help me. And I was like, no, you can do it. I call him G. I said, G, you could do it. You can do it. And he said, Mom. You know you my mom, right? I said, yes. He said, you know, I chose you to be my mom, right? I said, yeah. And he said, you know, when I was little, when I was little, that's what he kept saying. He said, mom, when I was little, and I believe he was trying to say heaven, but he couldn't, he didn't know, the, he said, when I was little and I was in the other place, I chose you. And, and you said, yes. You said yes to me. That's what my son said. He looked at me and said, Mom, I chose you. He pointed at me and said, Mom, when I was in the other place, I chose you to be my mother. And you, and he pointed at me as you said, yes, you're going to be my mother. And I said, yes. And he said, that's why you're supposed to help me. Because you agree to be my mother. And I agree to be your son. So you have to help me. Now he was trying to beat me to do his homework. You know what I'm saying? But you see how he, he kind of framed it, got me, he got it all twisted like that. And I'm like, yeah, but you could do the homework. I'll, I'll assist you, but I ain't gonna do it for you. 
I went to the other room and I was quiet. I sat there quietly. And then around nine o'clock when he went to bed, I just watched him as he was asleep. I just watched him. And I remember what my grandmother said, that you chose them. You did. He chose you and you chose him. When I got my Akashi record read, my son was, I believe, two, three years old. He was maybe, yeah, or three, somewhere three, four. He was still like a baby. I am here today to tell you that nothing in this world is an accident. You chose your parents. It took me a minute to really accept it, that I, I, I chose my mom and dad, and they chose me. It's the same way that you chose your parents. You chose the life that you, the life you're living right now, you chose it. I know it won't make sense to you because it took me a long time to, to accept it, that I chose this life. God is not like the devil. God don't force you to do anything. The universe won't force you to do anything that you don't want to do. You chose your life. Your life, it was already planned. I chose this body. My son chose that body. He, my son is nine years old. And he'd be saying things to me before he was even, at five, six, seven years old, he was saying stuff, and I just look at him like, yeah. Part of me just knew something something spiritual about that boy. By the day he told me, Mama, I chose you to be my mom, and you, you said yes. I was, he, he shook the living brick out of me. I was like, wow. My great-grandmother told me this. I had my son. My son never met my great-grandmother. I didn't even meet my great-grandmother. But I met my grandmother's other siblings, and I called them grandma. And my, 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 my grandmother's mother, I never met her. And she told me to keep an eye on my son and take very good care of him. He is a child here, but spiritually he's not. I know this message, you might, it, might, it might not mean anything to you, but I'm here to tell you that. Be great. Try to be a good person, if not for you, for your children, because they chose you for a reason. They know that you ain't gonna disappoint them. They know that you are capable of raising them. Do you know how many people are on this planet? And out of all the women in this world, your children chose you. That's because they see something good in you. That's why they chose you. My nine-year-old told me this. But prior to him telling me this, I already knew this. But for him to say it to me, it made every, every, everything was like, it's like epiphany, it all made sense to me. Keep an eye on your kids. Try as much as you can. Do your best and give them what you can. Do, do your best for them. Do your best for your children. They, they chose you for a reason. And you should feel proud and feel privileged that your children chose you to bring them here. As much as this world is messed up, you should look at your kids and feel proud. And if you don't have your biological kids and you adopted kids, I want you to know that you agree on the other side, that a point in time you will adopt these children. Yes, that's why you adopted them. There are a lot of people that go to your adoption agency, but it was you that, that, that they picked you. It was you that picked them. That is because on the other side, you already signed it, that you were going to be their parent. Same thing goes to animals. Some of you have are pet owners. Yes, you and that pet, yeah, agree that a point, you will come into a point in time or you will come into a lifetime where you're going to adopt that animal. The animal is going to come into your life. There are no accidents. Feel proud. Be proud. 
I love you. If nobody else told you that, I'm here to tell you I love you. This is some of the things my son said to me. Yeah, he says a lot of things to me. This is just one of them. African kisses. Even if you don't have any pets and you happen to feed animals, sometimes you feed the birds like the pigeons, I want you to know that they chose you. Do you know how many people that walk past by the pigeons every day and it was you that stopped to feed them? That's because they chose you. Out of all the million people that's going back and forth, back and forth, you stopped and gave them food. That is because they chose you. So I don't want you to feel left out. Be proud of yourself because you're chosen. One love.